Okay, I think this is something, uh, this question on regrets and grief of, of a life that hasn't been maybe the way it could have been uh, uh, or gone the way uh, uh, it could have gone or a feeling of loss that it, uh, of, of things or regret or anger uh, at the way things have happened or panned out in life. Um, yeah, for me, um, uh, if when I identify with the ego, then it, it's it's it, it is like that. It's like oh my goodness, you know, you're 54 years old, you know your your life's passed you by, and uh, you made a mess of it. Like everyone else had lots of fun, <laughs> had lots of fun doing all kinds of exotic occupations in London. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What have you got to show for your life at 54? I mean, you didn't, you didn't you know, everyone else had it, had it a lot better. And uh, so there's a regret, like it was a waste and you should have made different decisions. And it's too late now, you know, you've, you've lost all your hair and it, it's, it's, too, it's, it's like, you know, so it's like, so, you know, so there's a thing, you know, you know, look at those young people, they've got everything to look forward to and they're enjoying themselves, just indulging in everything. So, yeah. So it's too late for you to be plopping off soon, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it's a, so that kind of that kind of thing that goes on. So I think that's quite uh, common. So I mean for me the thing of course is just like um, it's just like Einstein, you can't solve it the problem it's been created at. You know, you, you uh, whilst you're in the level of the ego, um, uh, it's just not solvable. You know, because it's just endlessly, you know, there's more, more suffering that's going to come, you can't really resolve it. Or even if you resolve it, it's temporarily, the ego will come in and say, but, but what about this and what about that? So the thing is, uh, for me, is the, to go to a place where the ego doesn't intrude. Um, and I ha well, apart from the usual stuff, I mean, I would just say, apart from doing the Course in Miracles, I mean, okay. So let's say um, you're too old now to be happy, and your life's gone by, and you're not hardly any time. I mean, it's like, well, that's uh, from Course in Miracles' point of view, that, that the reason I'm suffering that thought is because it's meaningful. I'm giving value to that. So I'm stuck at that level of, of negativity or consciousness as long as I identify with that thought and believe it. You know, so if I say that that thought is meaningless, or I cancel my belief, I'm too old, it's too late. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. And uh, that's a lot of work because I have to cancel every single belief system uh, that's coming up and saying it's too late or you, you messed up or you can't have a happy life or, uh, or I wish life had been different. So, but actually you can sort of see if you did cancel all of them you'd go to a more elevated place. And you probably, you know, and actually, uh, at, so there's at the elevated place of like actually now is great, and there's the elevated pla place of there is no time, there is no age, um, and so there, there's much more elevated places where all these limitations don't exist. So you ca so to to transcend, you know, the, where the fear, the regret, the sadness, the anger, but while you are in those belief systems or identified with those or in those lower vibrations, then it's kind of like an endless suffering. So you have to go to place like you know I was watching Hawkins video yesterday and he said like you've just forgotten you know that you can never die you know that you're 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 at, who you really are is undying and beyond all of this you just can't remember it and that's why you suffer and I go yeah that's true and I go uh, you know I'm identifying with my suffering you know I'm choosing to to you know to uh, to hook into a horror movie and I've totally forgotten the truth of what I am. So it's like, oh my God, that's true. Why, why am I choosing to be in a horror movie when, I can, when in truth I'm free? So, uh, so that was like an antiviral thing. So you need you know, re-remembering those more elevated places where this stuff doesn't exist. So, so yes, while I'm, uh, so really then, if you, if you can do the observer or the cancelling of beliefs or the Course in Miracles. Uh, but also, I mean, I would just say uh, to anyone who's listening to this video, just remember to a place when you were in an elevated state, when none of this existed. You just go there straight away. And then you, you can have like a sudden satori that actually, you know, there is an option not to sort of get hooked into this heavy stuff and be free now. Uh, so, 
um, so if you can't do that, then you just have to cancel or pray or do the Course in Miracles or just allow the feelings. Or, go, or if you can, go to the Observer. Or I, I like to say, just uh, if you've had a mystical experience, know that this stuff is not real. Uh, that, you know, nothing limits you from that place apart from, uh, I'll use the word identifying or agreeing to hook into all of this stuff. Uh, uh, that, uh, that limits you to those lower vibrations. Thank you.